Dark's here. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it is Dark's here. Surprise, oh. surprise. Should have just left that one out on the board. Oh, That's kind of expected. Here you go. So, exact same bands as we saw in game number one. You know, we're not going to see is a first pick Nyx. I completely agree with this. <laughs> a bold claim there, Mr. Slacks. Uh, let's see. No Warlock. It could go for... So, tree still available. Yeah. Uh, ogre. Maybe something else they want to consider. Tree Terror Blade. Let's go. Tree Terror Blade. Terror Blade. Yeah, that was the hero yesterday. Terror Blade was just fine yeah. on this patch, eh? Yeah. It was good. Very good. Top TB. winning, in fact. <sighs> Do these teams play the team. Mind taking. Tree. Oh. Tree. Okay. Big surprise. Come on. Terribly. Let's see it. They Where want is it. it? They know they want it. Do it. Do it. I'm just gonna grab it anyway. Do you it, know, Fog. We were, we were really hyping up VP uh, just a couple days ago that they hadn't played any games yet, and uh, they're actually off to a pretty rocky start. They went one-one the other day, and they're at at least one-one here. Centaur. Who the hell picked Centaur? Yeah, that's a that's a What's blast that? from the past. Yeah. We're this talking is about time uh, capsule. How I many feel like I just saw this, this game I feel like I just I mean. saw this in True Sight. This looks like OG's draft. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Well, Damn. I mean that's that is what they grabbed. They had that right. Is. They had, didn't they didn't grab it first too. They third picked. They the third cent. picked the Centaur, but same kind of like strategy. And Vega takes the Terror Blade for themselves. Wow. Okay. So you know, Dark Seer Terror Blade. We would have made fun of them before uh, for this second pick Terror Blade, but as we saw yesterday. With mouse sports, it can work. It's nasty. It can work. Still hard to shut down. So what have we seen beat Terra Blade? Just superior late game like Magnus, Troll, Slark, Mag that just yeah, Mag mega buff. Nagas. Um, the best hero is Tinker against yes. Terra Blade. Oh, okay. When he, uh, the blind's annoying. Terra Blade has really low HP. He stacks armor, so we can't really deal with the magic damage. And uh, Tinker, he can go for the Ags, and he can laser and hit all the illusions at once. Mm -hmm. And then he also is a uh, high burst damage. Yeah. So. Yeah, That's talked... usually the hero people go to, but Tinker's sometimes hard to work in. Yeah, we've talked so, a lot yeah. about just the high burst damage against Terra Blade. The rumblings of Zeus. The rumbling of thunder. Yeah, I like both. I mean, Tinker is definitely the clear super counter to the Terra Blade, but I think, uh, I think VP used to do like the OD a bit. You just like get online faster, you can pressure really hard, and then if you do get in stacks up, you're actually able to kind of like mess with him a lot. Interesting disruptor ban and dazzle ban. Yeah. So two uh, very favorited heroes, you know, in CIS. I wonder what else aggressive support they're going to be picking. Yeah. Maybe a Yomni Knight, huh? Not too bad with Centaur. Not too bad with Tree. Don't know if they want double melee supports though. That's usually ah. a kind of a, a no-no. Oh yeah. Especially into Terror Blade and Darks here. I'm alone. Yeah. Where the hell did <laughs> I go? It's Joe, empty war room. Where'd it's he gone. go? Oh no. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> <Go> get him. <laughs> <laughs> he left you behind. <laughs> Didn't share the secret code. But the Dazzle Band's smart. Pairs very nicely with the Terror Blade. You know, Shallow Grave maybe gives him a little more buffer to get off that Sunder, survive and reset a fight. Yep, definitely. Mm-hmm. How's it going over there in solitary confinement? You look like you're enjoying it. <laughs> I miss Owen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lonely. That was an uncomfortable amount of zoom. Thank that you, was. guys. <laughs> I can see my pores. All right, so Ember Spirit third band here for Vega, and now they take out the Phoenix. So Phoenix Triant, that's kind of a classic combo, right? Egg into overgrowth, so you can't attack it. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I like that. He's also pretty good against Centaur, too. He's one of the only heroes that can melt down that huge amount of HP. Well, so. they, they opposite sides. Right. So... He's pretty great with Centaur, good, good, too. Good thought, but I yeah. I mean, uh, he's one of those heroes that can run from his ult. <laughs> so. That is true. That is true. Huge, That's, You're huge not buff. wrong. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. The Haas was talking about this one nonstop versus the Tyra Blade, but we have still seen this is still with the nerf. This is Elder Titan. The spirit only applies the magical amplification. You have to have your actual hero on top of them to apply the, mat the minus physical. Oof. That's tough, man. I yes. mean, Elder Titan has to be right up in the fray. How big is the radius around Elder Titan? It's not that large, is it? It's no. like, what, 400-ish? like a smaller than normal. I actually don't know what it is. It's small. It's, it is pretty yeah, small. Yeah, it's pretty small. That like sounds melee like the... range. Oh, like it's this. a little slightly bigger than melee range, but not not by much. It's like 375 or 400, between like 350, 400 area, something like that. How yeah. good is that against yeah. TB, though? Like. When you look at magic damage, you have the Centaur with the Stomp and Double Edge, and that's about yeah. it so far. You know what I don't understand why people don't do? Isn't Lion's level 25 talent AOE mana drain, which instantly kills illusions? Doesn't kill it the doesn't, second it doesn't work. It only kills, it the, only main kills the main target. And you have to hit 25 on Lion. 
Yeah. <laughs> that does so there, there's a lot of holes in that strategy there, Slags. <laughs> One, it doesn't work. Two, you're <laughs> never going to get level 25. Work. I'm back. Yeah, I sorry. missed you. Swedish sweets go straight through, yeah. That's okay. But it was Whoa. a good thought. Um... Well, one of the other things about Elder Titan, though, if you make it closer to the late game, uh, just the damage that Earth Splitter does, it's a way to burst down the Terra Blade before he can easily sunder. More beautiful poor action. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. A uh, nice sunder ability there. I'm with no, you. No, Earth Splitter to Whatever. stop the sunder. Are you I even listening to I'm me? I'm literally <laughs> not. Clearly. It's I a was lot looking of, at Owen's it, face. It is a lot of burst damage, and like with Tree, you can get the setups, you know, root into a uh, yeah. splitter. It can be quite nice. Vega goes for the Venge, so now they at least have like the save saving mechanism with the Tower Blade and the enhanced physical damage to kind of take objectives, which works pretty well versus a tree because you want to be able to claim those objectives in those one pushes mm -hmm. with the meta right away. Where's Venge? He's up here. So looking he's like a support Venge. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Could be a mid Terra Blade with a position one Venge. I mean, it's we, possible. We have seen. Oh, I can't remember we did it. We did, I've definitely seen a pro game where someone did run the Terra Blade in the mid lane. I've, yeah, I've We've seen a couple of times. Yeah, a couple of times. I've seen Envy do it once or twice. The Envy that's done it. Okay. Yeah. It, it's okay. It's not amazing, but meta allows you to kind of dominate yeah. some lanes. Yeah. 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 It's all about the rotations, really. It's kind of like the he lanes for like three or four minutes, and he goes back into the jungle. But this is, of course, the last patch where jungle spawns every two minutes, and yeah. um. I feel like Elder Titan doesn't even play off his aura anymore. You know, it's like, it's all about the stomp now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, to set up spells or to kind of stop these pushes. Yeah, that could, uh, that's, but that's a good point. Is that good enough for the hero? I don't really know. I don't know. Especially if you're going to be putting it with the Trine Protector. Now, you, like we said, you have double melee. Yeah. Well, they have three melee already into a terribly dark seer lineup, which is always a little bit of a fear factor. A VP the kind of lineup to run a Medusa? Mm. You've got a lot of good setup yeah. for the stone gaze. You've got a great way to get in position with the stampede. A bit of a oh, way to yeah. stop the pushes coming in from Vega. The wombo with the dark six. Stop good that. Save, yeah. I like it. But uh, trying to think if they play much of it. Well, they're going to pick up the mid nonetheless. Get the get, get the some invoker. magic damage. Yeah. Well, yeah. all that setup going to be mm -hmm. put to good use now for sun strikes. That's uh, for sure. Yeah, invoker yeah. is just ridiculously good against Terra Blade. With yeah. the, especially with like the enhanced damage from yeah. Elder Titan Aura, then his meteor combo actually can. You just destroy the TV and his illusions. Yeah, early on. bring it down really easy. But then you know he gets a BKB and then it's. Wait, yeah. just a moment. What do you want? Okay, that's a little harsh. But uh, Elder what? Titan, <laughs> if huh? they put him to sleep and then Medusa ults, that doesn't hurt them. No, exactly. That's yeah, why so it's so good. Forced that's why it's into so good. the stone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's really good. Okay. What a combo! It's really good. It is yeah, yeah. quite good. My yeah. God, uncanny! My God! So we've got DK Terra Blade Venge. They've got some heavy pushing lineup coming out with the Darkseer, who's probably going to get a very early mech as well. So Vega's looking to go for early timing. DK doesn't really care about Elder Titan either, because you just have heavy enhanced armor from your Dragon's Blood. Yeah, oh, that's true. But the Elder Titan also has to be on top of you to reduce your armor anyway, so it is different now. But pretty, still, pretty good, good five-man Dota coming out of this Vegas squadron lineup. It looks yeah, like. it's kind of like what they had last game, just in yeah. a, a sort of a different way. But yeah, they, you can expect them to try and hit the same sort of timings. The death ball. Oh. They're trying Me. to force force yeah. those towers. You know, yeah. you're versus a tree protector. You got to force him. You have to take the tower down. Right. So that's like they're really emphasizing on that. I mean, that's the. Th I mean, yeah, but tree and out of time, they, they are good ways of defending towers. Yes. You know? VP have definitely got a better answer to that sort of play style that Vega tried to pull off in game one successfully. So I, I like VP's a bit of a response this much better than what they did in game one. I don't know, Fogged. I think they've picked the wrong dragon. Why the not pick Jakiro to melt those towers instead? Wrong patch. Wrong patch. Well, he's still good with yeah, the Yeah, he is fire. still good, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, clockwork support. Okay. Good. Very good versus Elder Titan and uh, train, train Protector. If they are defending those towers, you can just pierce the back line. Nice. And you... You can't cast anything really while you're inside of cogs. Oh, battery, battery assault. assault yeah. yeah. What the VP take? Yeah, Ramsey's hero. What is the carry here, Brax? What's the call? Oh, okay, it's a morph. Morph. Good call, Brax. Morph. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Oh, that's greedy. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, is a lot does. of greed from VP. Yeah, one greedy draft. Especially when Vegas show that they kind of just want to push and go, right? I mean, yeah, that super late game carry in the morning. Looking at these drafts, I feel like it could be a repeat of last game where Vega hits this power spike timing in that like 20 to 30 minute window and it's just impossible to stop. Yeah, it does go both ways, though, right? They have the Ooh. Elder Titan to kind of stop the push a little bit, but if um, well, he Vega, delays the push, does he really stop right, it though? He doesn't really stop it, he does delay it, but it gets to that point where perhaps they can stall long enough. Mm -hmm. But who knows? We'll have to see. All right, predictions. Slacks, you're up first, buddy. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to go for Vega. I feel like that push will not be stopped. It will only be stalled. Yep, I'm in the same camp. I'm going Vega as well. Brax? Yep, Vega as well. It looks All like right. quite a hard push to stop. A trio of Vegas. A lot of confidence here in the Terror Blade. We'll see if it works out. Game number two starts now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Dream League. We have now got ourselves the second game of the first series of the day. It is, of course, the wonderful Vega Squadron once again playing up against VP. We've seen a bit of difference in the drafts. Centaur Warrunner, a hero that I feel like is just not a hero touched upon uh, ever since kind of the, what, the, the double, tri triple nerfs to the Ags and such with the Stampede. Yep. Uh, but they're bringing it back here. Elder Titan as well. So VP trying something a little different. And do you like it a bit more than than what they, they did in game one? Or? I think it's greedy. I think, think it's greedy. If they yeah. take it to a later stage of the game, though, you know, they are playing versus a, like, single... I mean, DK can scale, but it's yeah. more of a single kind of core Terror Blade thing with, like, a very heavy push lineup. So if they're able to stall it out, they've got this heavy magic burst with no one invoker, probably one of his best heroes. And with the Elder Titan aura, if he does get, like, the morphing, he's able to get his, like, shotgun online, they can actually burst people quite easily with that. But that being said, Vega has a very hardcore pushing lineup that even yes. does it, it does scale pretty well because they do have Venjora on top of it if they do get to like the later stages and everything too but we'll see how it ends up working out we'll see how the lanes progress and yeah I still think I, th I still think it is a, a bit of a greedy approach coming out from BP though it is but uh, and, and yeah actually, to be fair coming into the series you would have said that you would have put VP as a stronger team but yeah the way that Vega's playing it's it's hard to really make that difference between the two of them Vega's been playing very good recently yeah and uh, making yeah this matchup very close. And as we saw last game, Vega able to take the win this time round. Yeah, the, the greed certainly, as you said, lots of ways that Vega can punish it. They, they've got that good darks here, sort of set up for. Well, I mean, a, a, a less team fight definitely for sure in, in comparison to what they had in game one. But still, uh -huh. even just like a vacuum into a reflection can uh, really break up those mid game fights once they start to get it themselves across the map and moving and pushing down lanes as five Vega squadron. I'm checking how much, uh, yeah. if Lil's actually played Elder Titan much. I think I've seen him play almost every other hero in the game, but not a yeah, whole lot. Not, not one that you'd say Titan, right? strikes was a... The battle I think you're right. Right? Oh. Oh, bottom lane, Slayer actually giving uh, Ramses a bit of a run down there. With the Battery Assault and Iron Shell. Forcing back the Morphling, and uh, Solo is there. Already under the cover of the Nature's Guys. Eyes onto Afterlife. So it will be, uh, again, these dual lanes coming out uh, from both sides, in fact, uh, looking to, to, to run them. We'll, we'll, we will see where Lil heads. He's kind of floating between the middle and the top lane at the moment. I found a match where he actually played Elder Titan. It's about eight, eight months ago. Eight months ago. Did he win it? He, he did. did win he it. with six mangoes in his inventory. So the Oh, well, that's what Lil needs. He used to always do that. Yeah. Does he do that anymore? He I don't think he does, does he? No, he doesn't do it as much He doesn't anymore. do it anymore, does he, when he sells all these items at yeah. the ends and picks up the mangoes? But he did go pretty ham that game. I think that maybe because I want to say I, I I think they actually fixed that as in like the stat people they changed it so it records your items like a, a, uh, a fraction before the end to avoid gotcha. that. I, I think they did that. I can't remember if they worked around it. So the uh, the little mango troll may not work as well as it used to. But uh, here we have it. The mid lane matchup. No one versus uh, G. The Invoker DK as uh, this. Uh, a lane that you expect to see someone get a get a lead in, in the one v one. And DK does well the first couple levels. Yeah. Uh, I mean, DK always does kind of well. He always is able to breathe fire and get breathe fire and get his CS. But Invoker, once he gets like, a couple points in the Exhort with the Alacrity, he can actually just harass and just make sure he games everything. No one as well. I think he's probably one of the best mid laners. I say that and he's gonna be slow. <laughs> Smacks upon pretty he's hard. He's got the fairy fire and everything too, and there's yeah. no pretty fire mana, but. Yeah, he, I think he's probably one of like my favorite mid laners to watch just in terms of like dominance and just understanding of how to like do well the in the lane. Up. Yeah. yeah, so I would say that one he should come out ahead after a bit, but still the rotations will probably come out and Invoker. You know, you you can't really like DK eventually hits six and he can succeed your tower quite easily. But yeah, that's yeah for sure. Yeah, he's gonna be able to push it down and. And put more pressure on in this invoke account yeah. and uh, we may see no, no one back off to the jungle solo and uh, slayer though playing around with each other as slayer is very deep 
Let's see if Shelby gets himself out of here. They're pinging him. He's going to go for the deny. Now, see if there's any sort of sun strike being thrown out in that direction, but uh, it's not going to happen. So 26 we'll, we'll seconds. Manage to deny. No. It's a long time. Yeah. It's a long time to have no clock. Sun strike. Oh. Top lane. They get the stomp. It. Oh, not even a stomp. It was just a spirit. He just chased him just out. Just a vision. I think he. Okay, so it looked like he stacked the camps that okay. he had near the shrine, and he stacked up the spirit on the oh, camp, so he had the yeah. very heavy bonus movement speed plus boots, and he yeah. just ran the venge down. So that's a little clever play coming out from uh, Lil, though, using the... And that is actually is something that's what, in the new patch, essentially a buff to Elder Time, you've got stacks every minute that you can stack up. Easier to get stacks to sweep the spirit across. I no. have not seen, actually. I haven't really seen other no, time in the new packs. No, I mean, if you stack clever, those though. counts, you know, you get every minute to do so and just sweep the spirit across. That's, you know, I don't know how much, if there's a cap or such, but that's a lot of damage. Talking about a lot of damage, bottom lane. Slayer and Afterlife moving. I can't wait to see that, actually. I think people will, I think people actually will for the elder probably time. use that in the new patch with the uh, elder time with tons of creeps. Yeah, you actually there's you so many creeps on the map. Yeah. Easily to get stacks. I mean, we all saw that video on Reddit where the guy one-shotted people with Elder Titan, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, I think, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? It, it can it much easier be done now. Yeah, look at that bonus damage. Yeah, it, it gives you a fair punch. Yeah. I'm going to do that when I get home. Safe lane Elder Titan. Rush Shadow Blade. <laughs> Stack the camps. Sweep across. Punch someone in the face. One shot. Phase, Deso. You're good to go. Easy game. Sounds better than your Battle Fury builds. It does. Don't. Build, I wouldn't build a battle fury on the out of time because then you'd be killing the guy. I don't. I want to keep the jungle alive. Yeah. I gotta have them there for my uh, astral spirit. So Slayer, this is one of. I actually really like when I see him playing the clockwork. He's very active on it, always trying to make the cause of pressure. Pasha now. They can right. put the pressure on. The and they've got the sun strike. Yeah. They don't even need the sun strike. It's enough damage between the two of them. I mean, already this start going a lot better for VP here in game two. In terms of finding action and mid lane, no one. He's looking to turn this round, and in fact, well, with Lil coming through, they'll get one. Uh, G, sweeping very close to the tower here. He's trying to hunt down no uh -oh. one, but the leech seed comes through, and with the rundown, I think G's got, he's got one more bottle charge to play around with. Uh, it's not going to be enough. One more club. Uh, they got it. They have. Lil takes down the kill, and with that in mind, that, that mid lane movement ending up being an absolute disaster there for Vegas Squad. Look at Lil go at the other Titan. He's like, <laughs> I haven't played this in a while. Let me just... I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to beat the crap out of people with my big stapler. Oh, he's looking very good. Oh, he's dying, though. Dying. Yeah, he kills himself. Oh, he kills himself. To the neutral. Just went right. Was that? I don't think that was accidental, was it? No, he was. Like, I think he was worried about maybe a rocket flare or something. Was he? I, mean, I think maybe the Prowler oh. walked up and got him. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, that actually. That could have also happened. Yeah. I he know. was pretty healthy. He was low on was mana, he? but... He wasn't that low on the health? And they have shrines in the base, remember? This is still, like, <laughs> early. I think that may have been a Prowler just been standing outside and maybe clipped him. GG. Well, either way, 20 seconds off of him. But he's got phase boots already, so he's looking just... Oh, yeah, he's speedy. He's looking for lane dominance with <laughs> this Elder Titan. He's looking just to, to pressure a lot. And he can make the moves up, up toward Pasha's lane a lot. And they can actually kill Terrorblade very easily with a stun. Follow up with a couple right clicks. Double edge with a sun strike. That's easily bringing down a Terrorblade yeah, with just low health. Terrorblade is definitely the one you want to keep bullying. Yeah. Yeah, now Elder Titan and the, the burst combo from Pasha, that is just so strong against the TB in lane. It really is. And uh, in fact, Lil, eyeing up Slayer. And again, look at this look damage. At the damage. Look at that damage. What's he got? Plus 168. 168. Yeah, this guy's onto something. Well, how many, how many creeps did I even pass over that, Shrew? There's like two double stacks. Just two, oh, it's two double stacks. Is he, yeah. And the ancient stack. Well, there we go. This guy's a genius. We. We didn't really see, did we see that much Elder Titan in the last, but did we see much Elder no. Titan in the Kiev Major? We did not, that's we actually, not. I really Dude, like Elder the Titan way he's using it. Dude, definitely going to even be, be back on this patch, the, 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 the current patch. I wonder if people actually are, so this is extremely You get phase, and you, well, you've got the support, well, six minutes in. Look at, dude, he's bullying everybody out. <laughs> like, <laughs> in, the, in the new, like, this is 7.05. Yeah. In, in, in 7.06, there's going to be gonna even be more camps. Pasha now, looks like he's going to be brought down though. Uh, yeah, he's going to have to TP himself out and he, he will make it away. I, I, I'm trying to think now, 7.06, were there any changes to Elder Titan? He got a slight... Slight, slight change, I want to... Have a, a look it up. I want to see if this is the hero. Maybe Lil was onto something, he could sense. He was like, this hero is going to be great. 7.06, what have we got? Change logs. Increased strength. 
Reduced health regen, though. Okay. Oh, this is everybody. Oh, okay. That was. Oh, yeah. So he's got. Cool. All right. He's got more damage from more Astral. More damage from the Astral? What? All right. This hero is actually. That, this hero is actually. If you do if this. If you stack the camp. Those just two double stacks. Look, look at this. his damage. <laughs> oh, my. Dude. This is a thing. This is a yeah. thing. This is actually a thing. Bigger crack radius. That's always nice. But level look, the level two spirit, you get 30 damage per. Uh, but that's he oh, it's only heroes. Oh, it's only okay. heroes. It's only heroes. Uh, oh, it's around. only heroes. Oh, oh we got so excited. Heroes. But yeah. still, look Listen. how much he's still doing so yeah. much damage with it anyway. Yeah. Oh, this is legit. Now the time. Gives Wait. you a good old punch. There we go, mid lane in with the stampede, and uh, G turns around, nice stun actually, holding back the stomp. Very nicely done there, that dragon tail coming in just in time to save his life as he turns and slaps the center in the face. Five for two though still. Ramses, I should keep it on par with uh, the farm of Lord Arts, both of them there. Uh, doing pretty well, but the edge at the moment is uh, is, is there for the, though, for Lord Dance, which is uh, interesting considering that they were putting pressure on him with the Centaur and the uh, Elder Titan. But he's doing just fine. In mid lane, again, very close between the two of them, despite the movements, it's it is still very close, you know, these nine minutes in. Everyone's getting the farm that they want. I'm just like, oh. I'm, I'm like s speechless from how much oh. damage he actually does. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's see. So Morphling is actually doing very well. He is. Even yeah. though getting pressured. So I think that's actually a big deal. You know, their greedy lineup is already coming out to be very useful. And it doesn't even seem that greedy with him doing this with the uh, Astral Spirit. I just done on no one, very good time, nine minutes in, all going to plan for the Invoker. Uh, apart from the fact that he walks up into Slayer. And, He's got the Shrine uh, there. Is he able to activate him it? Locked him away from him, it's not going to save him. Nicely done there by Vega Squadron. Uh, we'll see if VP can get any sort of a turnaround. They jump in onto the Clockwork, and they will be able to punish the clock in return, but uh, they lost their Invoker for them. He did get the Midas up, though, and he, he, I believe he did use it in time. Yeah. So that's a, that's a small bonus, but still. Definitely a kill that Vegas Squadron will be happy with. They'll take that trade any day. Yeah, it's really, really good rotations. I mean, mm -hmm. the Ion Shell darts yeah. here, or Ion Shell the Clockwork Radiant's is actually a lot of damage coming out. Putting some pressure Meteor. onto this, this middle tower. Silent, turns around, holds back the Centaur, not enough to save his life as no one just comes in with the punches. The Alacrity, helping him bring down some of these bigger Fellows, G will be chased away. Slayer's there to block them off. So VP can't chase down the DK anymore. Top lane, Aloha Dance sweeps across, takes away uh, one of the camps, and uh, that tier one has already well and truly fallen down. So yeah, it's going to be one of those games where we see uh, the whole TB versus Morphling. Who is going to be able to carry the game harder? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. But I mean, like they're they're doing very well in their lanes. Like. Yeah. Even though the TB is quite farmed. Yeah, mid lane though, Lil coming in again. Dragon Tail holding him back. Took a little to chase this with his phase boots. But uh, hang on, we'll denied. create the space for no one to get the deny on the tower. So it's another tier one off the map. They grab in out to force the objectives and cause them themselves yet to lose a tier one of their own. And uh, this is against the uh, side with the uh, with the triant. So the living armor not being enough to save these tier ones from Vegas pushes so far. But we kind of expected it, you know, like with the yeah, DK, with, with the, the Terra Blade, yeah, yeah they, they can always force those towers. Yeah, and DK, of course, yeah, great push against uh, living armor. But that damage over time gets rid of the instances very quickly. Yeah, still very close, as we can see. The net worth difference hovering back and forth between the two of them. It does go up and down. VP do have that Midas though, and I don't believe we've got any Midas's yet on the side of Vega Squadron. So no one has got the potential on this invoker to just sit back, hit the jungle, and uh, get himself into a very scary position unless they can rotate upon him and shut him down. Yeah, no one on Vega's side really builds Midas's. I mean, maybe Clockwork after he gets like a first item, if he gets like an yeah. early blade mail, then you but go uh, back yeah. for the Midas, but yeah, he's not. He's not having the impact. I mean, he's, he's doing some cloud rotation, but he's not getting that much of gold compared to like, look at the other Titan, 3,000 gold, Clockwork only 1,500. Yeah, and uh, no one actually prioritizing 
for that clockwork with his uh, invoker build. You know, Midas, and then rather than going straight for the Ags, says, right, I, I'm going to need a four staff this game. So he's he going for the drum build on the other Titan, so he's yeah. trying to mess up those auras for his team. And I think it's, I think it's a very good item. Uh, I think it's a very good item in the last patch in 7.05 I've been watching here. I think the drum into Medallion and Solo Crest type of build that we saw, like NP running a lot on their supports, I think that's actually one of the best ten of items you can have. Super bottom lane, Slayer and Sun and eyeing up the Morphling. Really hard for them to do anything about it. Especially with the illusion available. But there, we will take the illusion down, so... Perhaps this is a little more vulnerable, but still... Not huge amounts of catch that they can use to, to, to trap that Morphling, make sure he can't wave form away. It's very hard for them to bring him down. I like the approach that uh, Vega actually did in the last game when they overcommitted to defend those tier 1s when they have the Train Protector. I mm -hmm. want to see like VP kind of doing that one, but that being said, they don't really have the heroes in comparison here, but they do have four heroes set up. Stampede is online. Pash has got the blink. And, uh, well, Treant just gets ripped apart there by the Terrible, but it's a bit of a bait because they turn around with the Stomp Sunstrike to take down the TB. Let's see if they can try and chase some more after life pops down the wall. Now on the retreat, we'll make it out. So just a simple one for one, maybe even more if they can finish up Pasha. They swap him back because he has to pass through the wall once more. Hook shot in from Slayer, but he's had a man of very low on health as well. Has to back off the lead seed, ticking him down. Pasha jumps forward and has found him there. So they'll take a second VP after life. Finds Pasha though in return. So they get themselves two more, vacuum back onto both Ramses and Lil. They are low and Vega looking very strong with the rotation from G. Surge forward, if they can get Ramses, it'll be absolutely massive. They land the Dragon Tail, wrap around from Silent. Has he got the mana from the Magic Missile? It doesn't matter. The damage there from G's enough. With the Breathe Fire, G picks up a double kill. And a very nice rotation there from the DK, securing the fight and securing the tower here. As well, by looks a bit, I'm going to say that. They are actually going to try and hold this. There's going to be TP's coming through again. VP are not done. There's the Overgrowth into the Stomp. Sunstrike trying to go for G, but G is actually able to get away in time. He just turns back towards the tree and takes him out. Pasha is in there with the blink double edge. So they finally bring down G on the Dragon Knight, but he got so much done. Let's see if Lil can trap any more here. Stomp. Two gets silent. Now drop the Fisher, but ah, Silent's already out of there. Jump forward from Pasha, though. Who stomp double edge. The infused raindrop. Not going to be enough to save the Vengeful Spirit. So a huge amount of chaos there down on the bottom yep. lane, but at the end of the day, I, I guess VP, they do hold the tower yeah, and the they do thing. bring down G after starting to rack up a bit of a streak. Yeah, I think it's like they use meta, yeah. they use dragon form, and they don't get the tower. Yeah, I think it's a big, big win thing. for VP. Yeah. They even get like a bunch of urn charges up on the uh, Elder Titan, and that's into Vega's heavy pushing lineup with the mech online and everything. So I think that's, yeah, that's definitely a big win coming up from VP, even though they yeah. did. They lost a couple of heroes, the, the ones that uh, defending the tower is the big thing, and. I guess the losing Ramses is just the big, the big, uh, the big painful kind of hit. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. So, a little bit of adjustment in builds. You versus a clockwork. Getting the early four staff on your mid laner on your invoker is always fine instead of like rushing the items yeah, first. Yeah, they, they've got the time. You know, VP now they can hold on. They've got that Triant living armor to to hold back on the pushes. Yeah. There's yeah, there's no rush to for the side of VP with with the invoker morphling duet. So G makes his way toward bottom. He wants to finish up that tower. He knows it was low. He doesn't want to get healed up, and he does claim it. But at the same time, Ramsey's now getting the split push going. Looks like the setup's coming. Pasha's going toward top. He saw the tower blade for nah, a second. They want to go for a he dive. He may have to just TP out, and he, he's not going to get the chance to with the Astral Spirit on him. He doesn't have one either. Oh, yeah, they are going to be able to play around this, with this boy proper good. Oh, he's dead. And he is gone. The wombo combo's there. I mean, it's so short. You know, VP's draft is very good at killing a Terra Blade in the early stages. I mean, even in the later stages, it's, it's not necessarily going to be impossible. They've just got a very good lineup to to deal with those, those TB picks that we're starting to see come out more and more. It, there's, there is always this risk. You know, as strong as the hero is, it can be drafted against. He's susceptible to magic burst, yeah. and that's what they they really they emphasized on at this time. No, definitely. I mean, once, even at, yeah, say in the later stages, even at that point, you know, if Ramses has got an E-Blade, they're still yeah. going to be able to kill him relatively easy. You throw a Spirit on him, yeah. E-Blade Shock on him, he's bam. gone. Sunstrike coming out. They don't have the Splitter, though. They throw the Yeah, no, and the, the right clicks, they, they will force him to mech him back up. Yeah. Again, it's uh, a lot of damage just between the two of them. Sunstrike and an Elder Titan. I mean, I'm loving Lil's entire approach to this game. Yeah. I tend to actually, I, I really like the way that he plays his four. He always finds his farm. He's very aggressive no matter what hero he's really playing. He just, he has a good read on the map. Oh, 
Yusuf Pasha. Halfway through the, the Aghanims at the moment. Top of the net worth. 8k. Got the other three cores in the game. Of position one and two is all keeping up. So it's still very close, really, at the moment. It does feel just a slight better bit of control from VP on the state of the game. Yeah. I think the next kind of things that they need to, or that they will probably want to do is, look at this, like solo yeah, getting these, yeah. not just the defensive wards, but try to make his way into the enemy jungle. Because now at this point, you know, they took the safe link tier one tower. So Terrible Terrible it actually doesn't really have great places to farm right now. It's like the ancients, the side kind of camps things, and, the, and their own jungle. So if he gets vision on him there, that'll just give them a lot more leeway to know when they can take the fights. Yeah. But they're, they're, I mean, they're very content with this. We said it, they have a degree draft and they're ahead in coming out of the laning phase and going into the first approach of the mid game. No doubt about that at all. And there's a, another four staff complete for VP. Yep. Absolutely crucial against the clockwork. Very hard to kill Morphling this game too. Once you it have really that is. Lincoln Sphere, yeah. they don't even have great, they don't have ways to break it. It's like swap, then they have Vent stun, DK stun. That's yeah, it. That is it. Pretty much. So, yeah, it's going to be very... This elusive morphling is actually a very good pick as well if they are able to make it to the later stages. <laughs> and it's already getting to that point. No one's already thrown the taunts out too. He's going to have the agonims very soon. And it, that's where it becomes like... Before, you know, they were kind of, try, kind of trying to fight 4v5 for the most part. And then no one would get involved with like a sun strike except for when we saw him port bottom when they like heavily tried to defend that tower, but once he has the Aghanims online, that's when we see the Invokers tend to travel around with their team more more so than not. They're smoked up top, they're set up, they look like they're expecting some kind of moving coming they're out onto no one. trying to here with the Invoker. And they, they are right. All right, Pasha finds the Hoost on, there's the Wombo onto Oops. the bench, but they missed the Sun Strike, so this it will survive for the time being. They'll put the Stampede for VP, just getting themselves out of there after a bit of a failed initiation. Yeah, Silence the, to survive. The four staff is such a great item pickup in this game. Just be able to get them away from any kind of that aggression. There's not a whole lot of catch coming out from Vega. It's like the hook shot and then the venge. And I guess if DK's in position, now that he has Shadow Blade, that, yeah, that gives him a little bit more catch. Yeah, absolutely. Another way of getting themselves into the fight mm -hmm. at the start of it all. And in fact, in the middle lane, there First we have showing. it. G. Yeah, straight in, gets self solo. He is gone. Drum is complete for Lilna now. Very low net worth train protector, but actually gives up. A good, a good chunk of money there. It gives 329 to G. I see no one. Agonim's complete. That's going to be out and down. So the four staff in his build not putting any sort of a slowdown on the, onto it. So he does have the Midas queued up on uh, Seoma for the clockwork. Okay, I mean, we're yeah, super he's, far away. Yeah. They really want to get Ramses or at least do something about this. They see him down there. They wonder if potentially VP are behind the Morphling. Just sweeping the area out. They'll find the courier at the least. It is uh, a hard kill. They are very unlikely to find Ramses yet. Yeah. No way that they can kill this Morphling. And in fact, they could be in trouble themselves now with the tornado set up. VP quick with the turnaround. Oh. Pasha tries to jump forward. Doesn't get the Hoost on. They'll get the route through here, trapping Vega in very deep here in enemy territory. That's going to be one down. Slayer to fall as well. They did lose the tree and. They take two heroes, the tier two kept alive here by the fortification. Great TP who stop from Pasha to set up immediately onto the Terra Blade and VP find a fourth. As it's going to be silent left behind as well. They pay, you know, they do get the tier two, but they yeah. only kill the tree protector and they pay with four heroes. I think VP is, I think VP is fine with this. I mean, they don't They're definitely want to lose the tier two, like but yeah, Ethereal Blade's already halfway kind of in production for the Morphling. Got the Ghost Scepter finished up and... I mean, and yeah. just the perfect TP from Pasha. Look, Pasha, what happens to him? He, he, yeah, he gets forced all the way back and then he sees the opportunity. That is a sick... Look at this. Look at the position he TPs from, though. Yeah, yeah, look. He's, he's hiding back and now he goes for the TP. This is Pasha. That's so smart. Yeah, TP that to catch out so and then that setup guarantees him the kill. Great play from Pasha. He hasn't... Yeah. He hasn't been able to get a Sunder off this game. He's he not. keeps just, just getting stunned into burst yeah. every single time. Yeah, really nicely done from Passion. Yeah, just getting that massive kill. That's the one that counts. Bringing down the Terror Blade. Yeah, now that was what? That was meta and DK ult used and wall. Yeah, and they get the tier two, but at the cost of nearly their full team. Yeah. Which is not ideal for Vega. I do not really want to be playing behind this this more thing and the Invoker. They're farming up a treat. And uh, definitely the rate it's going. Ramses is going to have that E Blade by the next team fight. 
Yeah, and that's when it becomes that's scary. Super problematic, but actually, I'm saying he's gonna have it. He's he's actually potentially he's gonna get taken down now. He's got the backup. In fact, he turns and oh, uh, gets and himself he gets involved. The last and they take the mid tower as well with the Ford Spirit. So, how close is Terrorblade toward BKB? I don't think he's even he close. A long he's got way the, away. He's going for Manta first. He's so going for Manta first. He's got the Manta at least, but his. Look at his HP. He's going to have, what, like almost 1700 once oh, he picks this up? Oh, if he gets E Blade, he's dead. Yeah, Waveform E Blade. Yeah, he almost, he's got 1800. Unless they get some sort of miraculous swap into an area where they don't have vision. I mean, if he's got if he's got the Astral Spirit on him and he gets E Bladed yeah. and comboed plus a Sunstrike yeah, on like, he's, he's dead. Been. He's actually definitely dead from that combo. It is scary. Aghanim's oh. quite a ways away. I mean, could Pasha just do it with a sun strike? No, 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 no. Not even with the stampede damage? No, definitely not. He needs one more. The tree and uh, who else have we if, got in here? Yeah, if someone else is there, they can. And even no one's in the position there, they can do this with the yeah, meatball. Yeah, they force up to the high ground as yeah. well. Nicely done by no one getting himself in position. That was, yeah, again, the four staff coming into play, but yep. that's, you know, they need that. They, the sun strike and the combo is not it's enough, not but enough. With, the, with the meteor and the deafening blast, it definitely was. Yeah, you're right, because, yeah, he's yeah. going to just get an easy sunder if you haven't got that extra damage. And, uh, oh, gee. I guess done onto, the, onto no one on the way back out. Instant four staff from Pasha. And now they make the their way pit. to the pit. Alacrity Morphling. After life, he's going to look for the combo here. Gets two of them in the vacuum wall, but there's no instant follow-up. Pasha comes in with a stun off the back lines. They do burst down the tree, but, oh, great ult there from Lil. Comes right down the middle of Vega's lineup, and with that EMPG, out of mana, did get the Shadow Blade off in time. He's up to the high ground, Slayer. Comes in with a hook shot, but it'll be only throwing his own life away to pretty much buy some time for G to get back, shrine up, and it's silent to fall as well as he takes an adaptive strike to the back from Ramsey's. 21 to 11. Ethereal Blade. starting to heat up. Yeah, he's got the Ethereal Blade finished up now oh. too. Very soon. Yeah, right after they finish the Roche, he'll have it. Yeah, this is just, it's just, it seems to be a much better draw from VP here in game two. And they're playing around it really well. I mean, the uh, Lil's, Lil's stacking cleverness with the Spirit made their lanes actually just much stronger than we expected. But wow, they're actually not going to put the Clean the Roche here. They don't have a, I don't believe that they have a Solar Crest or anything on anybody just yet, so. Yeah, have we not got, what, what did the tree go for in the end? He's is poor. He not, he's he got like 800 just, oh, net worth. Oh, he is super poor. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. Yeah, he's got nothing. And uh, is Lil not thinking about getting a Solar Crest? I mean, it wouldn't be too bad on a, an Elder Titan, would it? No, he's More just getting staff. another four stuff. Yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Again, he knows if he's trapped and his team aren't there, the, the clock certainly can still cause issues for him. Talking about the clock slayer, still trying to find that Midas. Oh, Vega with the smoke, but again, it's just onto solo, not necessarily the target you want to go oh for. And they just jump God. in. They blow up the DK. Pasha makes the darks here search himself out of there. Slayer, he pops the cocks out, but he's ended up being just trapped in with no one, and no one on the invoker just brings him down. A lot of us will get the Sunder off, it gets a kill, but at the end of the day, he still goes down. Force roll from Pasha, jumps in, finds the burst onto another, taking out Silent. And I don't, if for the last five minutes, every fight and every play is going Virtus Pro's way. They're into the pit. And it really just feels like it, you put these two lineups on paper and, and you say, well, if he put ahead, what kind of chance do Vega have with those heroes? And it's it's very little. Terrorblade is just getting destroyed each and every fight. Even when he does get us, he got us under pretty much back off to full health there, a second life, but it didn't matter. I mean, he died so fast. Yeah. Like Lil at this point, he actually can run next to them, but. He doesn't need to because their lineup is so magic damage oriented that he just really needs to throw the spirit on top of Terra Blade. Pasha jumps in, gets a stun, and he's just dead. It's, There's I, so much. I mean, as you said, the, the, the only thing that can really turn it is if that Terra Blade gets a BKB. Yeah. But that's still a long way away. Yeah, he's not even close. No. He's even going for the Hurricane Pike on Ooh. top. So he's, I mean, I, I think he, he should switch that, that up. Yeah. He really, really does. One lane, can, G, can oh. you do this? Uh, he's got a revenge coming in. Uh, between the two of them, they can certainly try for it. And yeah, uh, yeah, they'll get this. Very low armor hero. Yeah, tell he's the Titan. And uh, getting flamed wow, there by no one. No one even gives him the well played. He's like, <laughs> you greedy. I love it. He's like, what are you doing farming bottom as an Elder Titan? You deserve that death. Interesting as well there. Look, Pasha, an item that sometimes Centaurs, uh, since the nurse do not go for, is going to go for the Blink 4 Staff Aghanim still. Yeah, I mean, if they can prolong the fights, they, yeah. they're very very good in it speeds the morphling is able to just cut around because he's not you know he's not really killable anyway from the lack of disable just a good item this game for sure to deal with the uh 
I mean, they don't really have that much damage even on, even on the side of Vega anyway, so if he does have the Agnims, it's just going to completely negate anything that they do Dyer's even have. Top tower is under attack. Yeah, what with Mantis Tower being the next focus here for Ramsey, so yeah. once he has that, he is going to be very hard to take down. And not that, not that he already isn't really. For 519, only died the once this game. Proven to be a big, big issue for Zyde. Actually, says, screw it. I've got 2.25 gold. I'm, I'm going to go for the Blink Dagger. Yeah, I mean, he can, Jump, with an Astral yeah. Spirit, with like the, if they get a stomp on someone, they're dead. They're dead. They're yeah. Anyone is dead. But if Elder Ten gets a stomp, he gets Sunstrike, plus the Waveform combo, plus the E-Blade shotgun. I think anyone will die to that. I, I can't even do the math on how much damage it is, but it's probably around 2,200. It's a lot. It is a lot. I think with the Sunstrike yeah. on top, with the uh, Elder Titan stomp, with the Elder Titan stomp as well, it's probably a little bit over 2,200. It's probably like 2,500 burst magic. Yeah, I, only swaps and sunders are going to be able to save you. Yeah. It might be higher. That's, yeah, that's very, very clever drafting and very well executed laning play from VP this time around. And now, yeah. And what's the next play? For? I mean, VP, I, I really feel that there's not too much pressure on them to do much. <laughs> I mean, look at Solo, dude. Look at his what's items and his net worth. Man, he's 1,400 net worth. He's literally just walking around placing wards. He's just like, well, hopefully they go out and kill me because I'm actually worth, like, nothing. And then we actually they, start a fight. I mean, he's the one that's, that is, yeah, he's the punching bag. Yeah. If they go on him, that's the that's the way that they start it fights. Like, they're like, okay, that's fine. Like, yeah, take the 300 gold bounty for killing me. I don't even want to live. Yeah, he does not care at all. Oh, Slayer needs to use his Midas, come on. He can't get out. In fact, he's, he may be punished. He just gets jumped by Pasha. At the same time, though, they... Again. I mean, that's, so that's like, fine. He's yeah, okay with so this. Like, job done. He's you like, kill hey. me, we'll kill your clock. Yep. And no one gets the Sunstrike last hit, so he gets the experience mm -hmm. from wherever he was on top of all that. So that's... I mean, VP still very happy with all this. They're going to find another hit by the looks of it. That was, that was a Dragon Knight. Yep. And he just evaporated. Thought it was a melee creep. He just a bat. Yeah, this magical damage lineup, definitely the answer. I guess, yeah, not not just the TBS we're seeing as well. DK, yeah. who, who cares about the armor? He switched from the Hurricane Pike. Yeah, on the he needs that BKB. He knows. You've got to get the BKB this game. Well, what was the DK status on his BKB? I think he was about halfway as well. Was he yeah, he's about, more than oh, he's very, he's very close. He is it. very close. So he should, I mean, he gets a couple of creeps. He should be fine and have it for a defense. But already the tier three on the spawn lane brewing brought down very quickly. And he's still dead for 30. Yeah. They really want to defend this one, though. They just have to watch themselves. It's like every time the spirit comes out, they're like, oh, my God, whoever gets stomped can actually just die instantly. Here we go. Uh-oh. He's dead. And we have the combo. <laughs> I mean, the Sunstrike just... Was it was nearly not even necessary. The burst is so much with that E blade, and not only the Terra blade to fall, but Slayer as well, as they come flying across with the waveform jump four from Pasha, iron up the situation, and they're just focused towards the racks. And what are you gonna do if you're Vega Squadron when this push comes through? G tries to head in, but he gets cold stabbed oh up, and he's yet again he, the magical damage. The BKBs just did not come soon enough for Vega Squadron in this game. As VP just uh, played immaculately, they had a fantastic draft, and from the Elder Titan to the, this stage of the game, <laughs> the Morphling's Ramses is great time on the E Blade. They're just running through the base now yeah. at this point, but okay, they they chill out a little bit. They're okay. like, all right, guys. They've got tier twos in the other lanes. They yeah, need to take like, down. We can't so. take another Rex. Yeah. But my yeah. Oh my. This is very well executed game plan coming up from VP. We will at least be able to see a fight where they do have the BKBs. See if that does make a difference. Well, I said that last fight he did have a BKB. He just was in the silly stun. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. Like anyone who gets stomped, you're dead if you're in a, if you're not all the way in the back lines. You're just gonna get completely burst. Even in the back lines, you might actually just die if you just get stunned up. Blink dagger, E blade combo. Oof. Oh, I'll there we have it. Manta style now done for Ramses as well. So another way to play himself out of any sticky situations. Uh, not really that he's been getting himself into any. Look at VP though. Like they're still bottom. There's like there's nothing to claim down there. They've got to get that tier two. Push the top tower. Push top lane. No one knows what he's doing. Now he's like, all right, push mid. The lines are drawn. Ramses is like, okay guys, okay. get out of bottom lane. Go mid. We have to take tier twos. Roche is gonna be spawning soon. 
put, they can close this one out quite soon. What though. level have we got? None as well. He must be close to that 25 on the Evoker. 23, I want to say. Okay, uh, now 24, he's, no, he's so close. Because he took the experience yeah. bonus as well, the 30% yes, yeah. experience bonus this game. So yeah, he's very close to that level 25, same thing with Ramsey's. Yeah, Ramsey's just saying, well, we get the, uh, the shrines out of this. Tier 2. Business as usual here for VP as they push on down the middle. Are they even going to wait for the rush? I don't think they really need to, to be honest, but the safest play would be to do that, but they can just brute force this one with their damage potential. They're just going to claim the last tier twos. Uh, this is... I mean, Vega are attempting to leave the base. I mean, G's coming out on his own. <laughs> solo. No, Solo. Can they save him with that stampede? No. <laughs> he tries to force himself out of that. It looks like they waited. I think Pasha just watched him die. <laughs> he just stood, he stampeded for him, and then he's like, nah, never mind. What is the cat? Is it? I mean, it, he's dead anyway. They're probably more than likely. I mean, the rest of his team. If the rest of his team individually died that many times, I feel like they haven't. Poor old Solo. Like. Yeah, that's. I mean, he's doing his job. He's, he is. He's finding the ganks, eating, tanking the gank for his team. He's not worth a whole lot of money anyway, and he responds quickly because he's low level. Seems fine to me. Top lane. Oh no, Dragon Knight. Good night. Sent to sleep. Yeah, VP. I mean, they have to pull out some phenomenal level of a VP throw, really, to lose this sort of a game. Yeah, this I is mean, very comfortably in the bag at the moment for versus Pro. They drafted for like the later stage yeah. of the game, and they're winning at every single stage possible. So it's look at this. They, yeah, they, they do not need the rush at all. They just can brute force easily. But look, they, this is through back door protection. This is through back door. Look at him go. Oh, oh, Slayer. And he whiffs that, this and he plays gone. with his life. Two buybacks coming through now from Vega Squadron in a last ditch attempt to hold, but there's the jump forward onto the back, bursting silent down low. The EMP is doing a lot of work as well. G just walks up, has no mana, he has to actually get bottled up and sticked. Stun uh, coming out. Look at Dragon Temple, look at that. Solo comes in off the back with the overgrowth. Ramsey's back in, takes one. Afterlife does get a nice three man vacuum wall, but again, where's the follow up? You've got a lot of dash trying to do his best to be into him, and again, Solo will fall. Ramsey's morphing into strength, waveforms away, Sunstrike is going to be off the mark here. Ramsey's now turning back towards Aloha Dance, brings him down low with the adaptive strike. Jump forward for Lil. Lil's looking to finish it off. The Sunder comes through. Lil being now backed up by Pasha. Aloha Dance trying to get himself desperately out of there, dodges the tornado. They have actually managed to kill off Ramsey's here, but they've already lost three on oh, the side of him. Vega and yeah, taunting him as they bring him down as well. Virtus Pro find a fourth. The last. Definitely one of the most painful fights that uh, v Dying VP have had this game, out. losing Ramsey's. But uh, overall, still, it's it's a good trade. They take for G. He wants. He's gonna try for this, and uh, he's gonna get it. All right. Okay. I mean, okay. With that, they'll take it. But no one is. Uh, he's pushing down mid, and there's not really anyone to defend it. And uh, he might actually just get the rags out of this. Is he that scared of silent? I, I don't think he is. He's uh, oh, now, now playing himself away. Afterlife is there. Drags him back. Quick tornado to hold back the darks here. He's got the Shiva's guard. He can create the distance. He's even taunting. Yeah, and in fact, they may just go back in. Lil's there to back him up. And he's eyeing up potential. See if he can get any sort of catch. Did he go for the? He went for the tornado cool down this game. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a lot of setup. He's absurdly farmed. Yeah. Another 5k on top of that Shiva's. Oh, there we go. They do manage to block him off here with the cogs. And in fact, no one. Can you get him? Yeah, with the ghost walk, he's too speedy. He just runs himself away. They don't have enough lockdown to catch him. And the rack's slowly getting beat down upon by the Forge Spirit spam. In that middle lane. As VP just waiting until they have the full five man back and alive. There's just 30k as well. Yeah, they yeah. could play it safe and go for that. Solo's got an item. Woo! He got, he got dagger. Oi. Yay. And we have it. Ten deaths on the poor man. Good job. But Doing his job. Huge lead for VP. Yeah. Look at all the green dots. Yeah. Very different game to game two. Uh, game one. Yeah. Octary now finished up for no one. What is their plan, Vega? They need something big. They got those BKBs, but since then, I mean, there's just such a difference in value between their, their 
mid and carry in comparison to VP. Yeah, but like you Huge said, though, the lead for VP. The BKBs did come out, and that's when they did like you know they at least got like two yeah, kills they, in they the could team get, fight. Yeah, but they could stand up in a fight. Yeah, it's still like bringing down the Morphling, bringing down the Invoker is a whole different story than bringing down like the Centaur, Elder Titan, and the Tree and Protector. These two other guys are just so over farmed and elusive. Radiant Courier died somewhere. Oops. Here we go now, VP. Back did, towards the middle lane. What did Morph tank for his level 25 talent? Did he take the replicate damage? So he did, he yeah. Did. Versus Terra Blade, that's usually what you do. Okay, yeah, I guess as we saw, yeah, he just gets the illusion. He's actually just been using it to push and hit onto yeah. the racks. Yeah. Oh, Refresher and Centaur as well. <laughs> oh, he's so far. 37 minutes in. They're ready to go for G. Yeah, here we go. Opening up onto the DK. I'm being slow about this. Again, respecting the fact that Vega can have potential to turn with the BKBs. They don't have Elder Titan and Centaur just yet either, so they don't have oh, the big okay, setups. Yeah. They're waiting for them to power, come down the middle lane. Yeah. They were pinging him, though. Posh is like, I want him. There we go. Ramsey just goes in onto the racks and now turns towards G with the adapter strike. They get the full first. No, the BKB comes out in time. G still falling down low. Ramsey's is just hammering into him here with the right clicks. ramsey has got to be careful. In fact, he's lost the ages. The power of the Terror Blade is enough to bring the Morphling down once. Meatball burning into Clockwell, but he does manage to get himself out back to safety for the time being. No one comes in again from the sidelines with the setup, and then bam, the burst is there. The wow. sleep into the ghost for, for the E Blade just rips the TB apart. The natural order E Blade is just too much it's burst. So much burst for and the Pasha TB. Pasha looking to move on to Silent, gets the two man who stop as well. Sun strikes there onto the Dark Sea. Vega trying to make their way back to the base. There'll be a buyback from Silent on the Vengeful Spirit, but they've already lost too many. And G, G is cool. VP killing Vega right back to the fountain as no one taunts whilst the fountain beats upon him. And they clean up house once again. 41 for 22. And we have the series. VP able to get the 1-1 one -one at the end of the day. Draw League. It's back. Yeah. The 1-1's one return. Yeah, we, you know, we, we said VP had a bit of a greedy draw.